it's a celebration okay so y'all already know i'm coming with the wine let me pour me a little glass up real quick a little glass <laughs> pour the whole rest of the bottle in there why don't we hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video i am so excited for today we are in the kitchen and we are making some hookah but not just any hookah y'all we are making a smudge hookah today oh my god if y'all knew how long i have had these hookahs in my house how long I have been trying to hide these hookahs from people that come in my house. How long I have been trying to hide these hookahs in the background in my videos because I've been smoking them nonstop, making sure they're good, making sure I love them, making sure that my close friends love them, okay? I have been trying to vlog around them. I have been trying to make sure I remember to not get Smudge Hookah in the shop because we are just now launching Smudge Hookah. I am so, 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 so excited. I have been working on this for so long you guys and just uh, it just whenever you have a business and you finally see the things that you have been putting so much work into so much of your time into when you see it all come to life it's just a really really crazy and surreal moment so i am so excited to finally be able to show you guys smudge hookah if you follow me on instagram which you should you have already seen a little bit of something something okay but by the time you watch this video you would have seen everything because it's out now all right it's launched we are doing the pre-order right now so make sure you grab your hookah make sure you secure your hookah okay secure them all right secure them for the pre-order please to celebrate we are going to cheers to that i got my wine if you are of age girl go ahead girl guy whoever watching this it don't even matter go ahead and take a sip with me cheers Y'all know me and my red wine, okay? I wanted to show you guys how to set up my hookahs for sure because whenever I started smoking hookah and I got my first hookah, I did not know what the heck I was doing. I did not know how to set it up. I didn't know what I needed. I just didn't know what the heck I was doing. So I was like, you know what? I think it'll be really good to have some tutorials up here for you guys. Y'all know that I work with the hookah company. Y'all know I love hookah and now I have my own hookah company. Like this is so surreal to say that out loud right now. I'm tripping just a little bit, okay? I just got the rest of everything that I need. I got my shisha, I got a hookah tip, I got my coals. I'm actually about to turn my coals on so that they can be heating up while I am actually talking to you guys. I wanted to show you guys everything that comes in the hookah kit, okay? Cause it is like, you know, a little, it just has all these little pieces. So it comes with everything that you need basically. So this is my queen of hearts hookah. I am obsessed with it. Oh my goodness. And I am making the purple one today. I mean, get into the branding, honey, the aesthetic, the vibe. Y'all know that this, I mean, this just screams Corey. If you know me, you know that this screams me. And if you don't know me, this is me, okay? When I saw it, I was like, my heart, literally. That's literally what I said. I said, I definitely have to have this in my launch. It just matches perfectly. Y'all know I have a lip gloss called Queen of Hearts. I said the hookah's gonna be called Queen of Hearts. And it's gonna be so freaking cute. So it comes with the hookah. And then you have your bowl for your shisha. You also have your hose and the pieces that goes to your hose. So that's this purple piece and then this metal piece. You also have your coal holder, right? Coal holder and then there's just like some little pieces that you need to stick into the hookah for the hose to attach to it and everything You're gonna have your LED light and also your remote control. So it literally comes with all the things hookah bowl hose coal holder LED light remote. It also comes with tongs Oh, Every time I look at it. I'm just like, oh my god. I just can't believe it. So We're gonna set it up. I'm opening up a new one with you guys just so that you can see it from Start to finish, there we go. Everything, you know, comes wrapped in plastic, all that good stuff. Get the hose open. Coals are heating up, all right. Ooh. Here's our hose. 
so if y'all watched that vlog from a long time ago where i told y'all i was organizing my shisha like my favorite shishas i was putting them in mason jars this is my favorite shisha and it was completely full and now it's like almost empty and i'm so sad so it's time for me to restock a lot of my shisha and i have been just you know doing tipsy thursday entertaining hosting testing out these products so i have been smoking a lot of hookah lately <laughs> smoking a lot of hookah but that's okay so i'm gonna make a hawaii hookah today um this is getting hot so yeah i wanted to show you guys this little piece here so the small little purple piece that i showed you guys it comes with it and it just goes inside of the hole where the hose is just stick it in there so i just stuck that in right there real quick like it was super easy to just stick it in there and that's where you're gonna put your hose and then for your hose you have the two metal pieces. So you get your hose, you get your metal piece, okay? And make sure that the widest part is outside, not inside the hose, okay? So we're gonna put the skinny part inside because it's gonna slide right in like so, like that. And you just push it down until it's all the way in there. And then for the other end, you take the wider end because the skinny end is where you're gonna put your tip and yeah just put this in there like that as well and you just make sure that you have your hose in there like that ah i'm just i'm way too excited over here okay so i do like all of that hard stuff first right because after that it's like smooth sailing now we're gonna put some water in the actual hookah and you don't need like a ton of water so i'm gonna just put some water in here i'm gonna show y'all how much water i put so here is how much water i put I kind of like fill it up to the halfway line. If you look inside, the light goes in at the bottom. And if you look at it, there is like a line in the middle of where the light goes in. And that is where I kind of fill my water up to. And for me, I like putting ice in my hookah because it just it's just a better experience. I don't know why, like, I don't know. Just having cold water in there, it just makes the, it elevates the experience okay so if the the space like if the opening where you put the water is large enough for some ice then i would say put some ice cubes in there all right if it's not then that's fine just try to use super cold water just you know make sure it's cold <laughs> out the faucet make sure it's cold all right and i like to do this like while the coals are still heating up so they're probably like halfway done by now So I still have time to kind of fill up my bowl. Oh, I am just so sad about how empty this is right now. I probably have this session and then one more after that and that's gonna be it. Like I need to be online ordering some more right now. This is actually ridiculous. Whenever I ordered it, it was my birthday last year. I will never forget it because I was hoping that it was gonna be here for my party. And that's so crazy that I'm just now running out. Oh my God, this lasted me a year. And if you have your shisha in an airtight container like this, like a mason jar, a glass jar, anything that's gonna have a nice airtight lid on it, it's gonna still be good. You know what I'm saying? Like it lasts a good long while and it doesn't dry out that way. Cause sometimes with those little packs, the resealable packs, if you don't seal them all the way or if there even is the slightest bit of air getting in there it could just dry all the shisha out and then it's just not going to be good anymore so i absolutely love the fact that i put mine in my mason jars once your bowl is filled up with your shisha you just put it inside of this section right here and it just fits nice and perfectly right there and then your coal holder just goes right on top And then after that, I mean, you can get your light set up. I already have one of my lights set up. So I do want to talk about the lights. They do not come with batteries. So I don't include batteries for the light or the remote, but I have a whole hookah necessities tab on my website. And I also have it linked down below here 
Also on my Amazon store, I have a whole hookah section on there as well. So you can just go to my website or you can go to my Amazon store and you can see all the stuff that I use for my hookah, the coals, the coal burner, cause that is also on Amazon as well. So I will have all of that stuff linked down below for you guys so that you can know all of the things that you need in order to set your hookah up. So I have my light already set up here and then I just put it on top like that. You just place it. It's just, it's just a little placeholder, okay? It's not anything super permanent that's gonna be stuck up in there. It's all set and ready. And we just wait for our hookah coals to light all the way up. And that's when, you know, I put my hose in, push the hose in like that. I mean, how cute, how cute. And then you are good to go. So now, like I said, we just wait. I'm gonna grab my hookah tip, okay. And this is where I just be chilling, waiting on my coals. I'm actually going to flip them so that they heat up. All the way, a little bit quicker and I like to let my coals get red like really red fully hot okay before I put them in there that just helps it to last maximum capacity they're not gonna go out as fast if you light them all the way up you know and then once they're ready we're just gonna put them right in here right in here like that And then you just put the top of the coal holder on. This does open and close. So I say whenever you know you just start the hookah, I just put mine closed so that it can really heat up, trap all that heat in there. But as you're smoking through your hookah session, if it's too harsh, you can then start to slowly open these up to let a little bit more air in there to let the coals kind of cool off a little bit to make the hookah less harsh that way. But you know, most of the time mine is closed cause I'd be liking it to be nice and strong, but that's just me personally. It is totally a personal preference on how you like to smoke your hookah. Open up my hookah tip. Y'all know I had to get pink. <laughs> a pink hookah tip, my purple hookah to match my purple dress. Y'all already know pink and purple are the vibes. And then you just stick your tip right on the top here. And then you can start pulling now if you want to, to try to start getting this thing heated up. But I have learned that just letting it sit for a couple of minutes, just a couple of minutes. Don't be waiting 10 minutes because it's going to be really, really hot and it's gonna start getting really, really burnt, okay? And you want your coals to last as long as possible. So you really, really want to like not let it sit there forever before you start it up. Whenever a couple minutes has gone by, you can start to pull on it. You're gonna see little baby smoke coming out at first because you really do have to keep pulling and get the hookah started. Had to learn that the hard way whenever I first started smoking hookah. I'm like, I'm not doing it right. I'm not doing it right. There's no smoke coming out. What's going on? Look. You gotta keep pulling on it a little bit before the smoke really comes, okay? So don't even feel bad about that. But yeah, you guys, that's how you set up the hookah. Easy, right? Like super quick, super easy. My other hookah is a little bit different. I'm gonna save that for a separate video. I'm gonna show you guys how to set that one up as well. But this one, this is the compact one. It's super travel friendly, you know, even if that just means going to your mama's house, your parents' house, whatever. That's what I did this past week for my mom's birthday. I brought my hookah with me and we were all just able to smoke over there because it's so <laughs> small and compact. You can literally just take it wherever you wanna go. And uh, it was beautiful, you know? We all was able to smoke on it. It was probably about four of us that were smoking and it was cool, it was a little vibe, you know? All right, we're gonna get this thing started now. Now, whenever you get a hookah, whenever you get a brand new hookah out the pack, y'all know that y'all might taste like a little bit of burnt taste at the beginning because it's all new material. It's the first time it's being burned. It's the first time any of this stuff is getting hot. So it's gonna give you that taste. It's like when you turn on your heat, when it just, when winter just comes and you turn on your heat for the first time after the air been on all summer and your house kind of has that burnt smell sometimes, that's what it reminds me of, smoking a brand new hookah out the pack. A couple pulls, you might taste a little burnt taste, but then it just goes away. So don't be alarmed. I'm just giving y'all all of the tea that I have experienced with setting up new hookahs. So y'all see it starts off, you know, we got little baby smoke. We got little baby smoke, baby smoke. My camera's probably freaking out like, what's going on? There's smoke in the frame. <laughs> there is definitely smoke in the frame. Let me move this back so y'all can see it. We get in there, we get in there. 
while I'm here, let me just tell y'all about this. So this, right, this is a cold heating mechanism. So it just keeps it hot while you're smoking the hookah. If you've been to a hookah lounge or if you've seen other hookah, sometimes they don't have anything covering the coals or maybe they'll have foil covering the coals like how my other one is, it has foil covering the coals. This gets really, really hot. So please do not accidentally touch this. Do not accidentally bump into this because y'all I have burned myself on this two times in my whole entire time smoking hookah. That was probably what, like two years ago I started smoking hookah um two or three years ago i can't even remember no it was like two years ago because i was in this apartment when i first started smoking hookah and i had got my first hookah and i set up and everything and you know we're having parties and stuff but girl this touched my skin on accident the little cold holder thing y'all i literally wanted to jump out of my body it gets so hot like please 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 don't touch it don't bump into it don't knock it over like put this somewhere safe and secure on the counter where you know no one's gonna mess with it because this gets really hot like even with me right here this is hot this high up i feel that heat okay it's really really hot Y'all see we getting somewhere, huh? Y'all see that? Y'all see that? I know y'all see it. These little small hookahs. Y'all can't even see my face because that big smoke cloud right there. Here we go. These small hookahs, they pull big smoke, okay? So do not, do not even sleep on my little ones because they smoke really, really nice, really smooth. You don't have to pull on it super hard to get any smoke out of it. And it does what it needs to do. Okay, it's given what it needed to have gave, okay? Okay! So like I said, this is available for pre-order right now, you guys. I'm so, so, so excited. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the love and all the support and for all the love even on my announcement post because no one saw this coming except for my close friends that have been to my house that i have been <laughs> letting test this out with me but everyone else probably had no idea that i was even working on this so thank you for your love thank you for your support they're available for pre-order i'm super excited at 22 22 i had to do some big stuff on that day because my angel number is 222 and i was like this is a monumental day like it's just crazy right it's a tuesday it's a tuesday it's 2 2222. We are launching hookah. We are launching stickers. Like, it is a huge day for me and my businesses. So, I'm just really excited. I, I'm just on cloud nine, literally on cloud nine. So, like I said, all of the links are going to be down below. These are perfect if you are into hookah and you want to have a vibe at home. Maybe you've been going to a lot of lounges and you only smoke hookah at the lounge and you want to get something for your house, create the vibe at home. I got you covered. I got you covered. Everything is down below. I love you guys so much. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. We launch Smudge Hookah. We launch Smudge Hookah. We launch Smudge Hookah. Hey, 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 hey. We launch Smudge Hookah. We launch Smudge Hookah. Ooh, ooh. Smudge hookah, ooh, ooh. Smudge hookah, ooh. <laughs> too excited over here. Too excited over here, too lit, too tipsy, okay, period. I deserve to be excited after all of this. I deserve, I deserve.